we've all been there. You come to a stop at an intersection. Someone approaches trying to get some money. Maybe you give them cash. Maybe you look away, unsure of what they'll do with the money. Well, this week's Getting Results Award winner saw a problem with that. At nine years old, he asked his mom if there was another way to give. Now he's helping the homeless one bag at a time. I know how to make these very quickly. When you're a nine-year-old boy, everything's a competition. I can do it in under five seconds. And the challenge today... Can we do as much as we can? Filling these bags with some of the most basic essentials of everyday living. Do you think we can fill the whole table up today? Soft-spoken, mm -hmm. with a big heart. Yeah. Miles Newbold is the creator of Miles to Go Charities. When you walk in my house, it's Miles to Go Central. And these bags... One water. Toothpaste and toothbrush. Ponchos. This is a sunscreen. Are his generous alternative... Socks. To giving cash to panhandlers. People make a donation, they take a bag, keep it in their car, and then when they encounter a homeless person or someone in need, they can pass it on. It all started with a conversation at an intersection. So I was honest and we had a great conversation and he said, all right, mom, so we should give them something else. And with that, that's that's a lot of bags. Love began to spread. So now this bag, one bag at a time, is ready to go. We pack it up at our house and sometimes we drive around areas like downtown here and we always keep a couple in the car. Miles, along with his family, friends and donors. Would you like a bag? Have given yeah. out more than 200 bags bag since bag. January. Uh, how sweet. They took the time out. Yeah, they have a heart. Each one contains about 10 items. Value? 30 bucks. What is it like when you see somebody's face when they get that big bag of stuff? It really makes me feel good. Most of us have miles to go when it comes to helping others. Miles is to go, yeah. Miles. Excuse me, sir, would you like a water? Hopes these special bags. We just give these to other people to give to other people to give to other people. Put us one step closer. One step at a time. Change the world. I think that we uh, accomplished our mission of spreading love one no. bag at a time. You gotta give that mom a lot of credit too. That's and I'm for sure, sure dad as well. Just like all of our Getting Results Award winners, Miles received a personalized plaque, $100 cash, money he can now use toward those supplies. Mm. If you'd like a Miles to go bag for yourself, you can find where to get one on our website, clickorlando.com. That's also where you can nominate someone just like Miles. And I love this story because I've had this exact same conversation with my kids sure. at stoplights. So the fact that they have found a way mm -hmm. to fix this problem well, is pretty a, special. It was a teaching moment, and, and it turned into yeah. such compassion from mm -hmm. a nine-year-old. Yeah. That's amazing. And the things in that bag are, are very thoughtful. Yeah. Good yeah. stuff that they That's might nice. need. Tom is off today. We've got Candace Campos in guiding us through yes. some afternoon showers. Well, we've knocked down two advisories, thankfully. Okay. As of 6.15, we have uh, three more to go. So let's, let's break it down. We're watching the collision of the two sea breezes, a very summer-like setup. West Coast and East Coast starting to come together right across our interior zones. Will linger over the next couple hours. So we're not completely done with the showers and thunderstorms. With that heat of the day, it's just been firing them up. So here are the advisories without the radar. I took the radar off so you can see there is one right over Seminole and Orange County. This pretty much is now combined. It is two. And then one up and an aerial flood advisory across Northern Lake County. So as we zoom in on the one main advisory, you can see here over 300 lightning strikes just in this one cell. And this is basically from 46 in Seminole County southward into the Christmas area along US along Highway 50 out through Bifflow, the 419 and Wedgefield. As we zoom in here, you can see South Mirror along 46. Again, over 300 lightning strikes up to 60 mile per hour wind gusts have been clocked within this cell out by 520 and again, US 50. Another issue along Along with the very gusty winds is that the amount of hail and the size of the hail about walnut to grape size hail just north of the Bithlow area out through South Mere up to walnut sized hail out there. We had one advisory out along Vieira and Palm Shores along Aurora as well. That has discontinued but still producing a lot of heavy rain, a lot of lightning, very gusty winds. Hail not as much of an issue as it was about 15, 20 minutes ago. And then we have an aerial flood advisory. Can't see it right now, but it's just over the corner of uh, northern Lake County along Paisley as we've had some pretty consistent, very stagnant rain over the area. And look at this one right near Lake Penasofki and into the villages. We've had this one cell just sit over that area now. I've been clocking about an hour, almost hour and a half. So some aerial flood advisory could be issued there in the next couple minutes. Out through New Smyrna Beach along 95 Oak Hill, some heavy rain out there. Rainfall rates right now between about one to two inches per hour. Some uh, nuisance flooding will certainly be an issue, especially along the coastline. We've had such saturated grounds over the last couple of days. And then across southern Brevard County, out through Sebastian Micco, 
also seeing a significant weather advisory. Along with the rain comes some cooler air into Sanford now down to 76 degrees, but you can see Orlando and Kissimmee. You haven't seen much rain, so you're still sitting near 90 degrees. We will track a few more lingering showers and storms until about 8 9 o'clock this evening. We'll wash things out, stay nice and dry throughout the overnight early morning hours, and then we'll see another round of those afternoon thunderstorms firing up after about 3 4 o'clock. Now let's check on your hour by hour forecast for your Friday. Your forecast brought to you by Del Air Heating and Air Conditioning. We're up to 91 degrees for tomorrow. Rain coverage at 60%. Roll out now the next seven days, and you'll see that the chance of rain will still be in the forecast for tomorrow. Very summer-like for the weekend. We'll trend down the rain chance just a bit by the end, by the start of next week. Temperatures will be staying near 90, about 92 degrees. All right, Candace. thank you. You're welcome.